everyone, I'm Lisa Fay, and today I'm going to show you a really quick and easy tutorial about how to make these wood-burned kitchen spoons. All you need are some wooden kitchen spoons and a wood-burning tool and a well-ventilated area because you don't want to set the smoke alarm off. Um, they're so easy to make. You're really like you can make these even if you don't have a lot of artistic ability and you know, there's really no limitations even if you do have a lot of artistic ability. Um, for me personally, I tend to stick to easier designs because I'm not all that great at drawing or doodling or anything like that. So um, I tend to go with like words and initials and shapes and hearts and flowers and whatnot. This video is part of my Christmas crafting series here on YouTube. Please check out my videos for more great ideas. All of these are really inexpensive, easy things to make. And you know, I think that these spoons come out to, I think around, I don't know, a dollar or two each. And they're great to pair with several of the other items in my series. If you want like a nice kitchen themed gift, with multiple items in it and everything is really budget friendly and um, easy to make. You'll find affiliate links to the different items you'll need in the description box for this video. I'll be donating a portion of any proceeds from affiliate link sales to National Food Bank Feeding America as well as my local food bank Second Harvest of Silicon Valley. So let's get started. You just want to start with a bunch of wooden kitchen spoons very inexpensive and you also need a wood burning tool. You can get these for about $15 or so I think, $15 to $20. You definitely want to do this project in a well ventilated area otherwise you will probably set your fire alarm off. You can trace on your spoons with a pencil first if that helps you feel a little bit more confident in what you're tracing out. You can really do any design you want here I'm just doing a simple flower. You can also go over the design again if it's too light the first time. I think I had to go over this one twice. And you can do little dots, little squirrely lines. I mean really whatever you want to do. One of the designs that I really like doing is doing a large cursive initial on the back of the spoon and then doing a cursive written out lowercase name on the inside. I'm really not the best at drawing, especially drawing freehand, so I tend to stick with words and easy shapes like hearts and dots and stars and things like that just because it's something that's comfortable for me and I find that I'm usually pretty happy with the results. You can also, in addition to wood burning the faces of the spoon, I guess you would call them, you can do the handle as well. So you can see in this example that I am just doing little miniature polka dots all over the handle. When I got to the end, I did a little heart at the end there. Of course, you can't see it. That was off camera, naturally. And here I am going back and darkening up the letter. You want to make sure that your tool is nice and hot when you're using it. So like I said, I like to do kind of abstract shapes sometimes. I'm just doing a bunch of little doodle squiggles here along with some dots just because I'm not all that great at drawing. But honestly, you are not limited by anything. If you can draw, hey, draw whatever you want. This was a really easy idea that 
I liked the outcome of. I just did a few squiggly lines and then drew some leaves on there and made it into some vines. And I decided to do the reverse side as well. It does take a while to shade in a larger surface area and it does produce some smoke so like I said well ventilated area is a must if you can run a fan run a fan so here I am just shading in this big heart on the back of the spoon I really liked how this turned out <laughs> I use iron-on embroidery transfers in several of my other crafting tutorials here on YouTube and so I decided to try this on the wooden spoon as well and I wasn't entirely sure what I would come up with but I was able to get a faint imprint on the back curved side of the spoon using the transfer. I mean, you can't even see it here on video, but I could see it in person with my actual eyes. So I'm just tracing over with the wood burning tool, tracing over these really faint iron on transfer lines. I chose a really small flower pattern for this, and I just went over all of the lines, and then I traced, um, traced each of them, and then kind of shaded a little bit towards the end. So with this method of using the iron-on transfer, I was able to do a more complex pattern that I otherwise really wouldn't have the ability to do freehand because I'm just not that talented to do that level of art. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. I hope to see you again soon. Bye.